All right, he's on the, Chris was just getting ready on one up there. All right, we're just gonna unload. We got 40 miles to go. All right, I'll let you get rid of some of this wood. Yeah, a little bit of rain up there, boys. Not, it's not getting tight or staying tight. Oh, I'm just, oh. I just put a waterproof thing on. Oh. Got rope if we need it. Oh, uh, no. We got we got cops coming. So here's base camp and set up. This is base camp, and then spike camp is way over there somewhere. But we're all getting set up in here. This is our base camp. It's kind of dark. Maybe I should turn on the lights. So there's all that. No trash. That's our fire. So base camp. Doesn't take long to set up when you just have a little trailer. Cause that is our base camp, our tent. Motion sensor lights. All right, day before opening season for elk. Here's base camp. Getting all our stuff ready. Get ready to go up there. But this is base camp. Won't be here much. This is all insulated. Generator. electricity it just plugs in there and the heater buddy goes in right in there the propane goes right in there we got some shelves heater buddy That's all good. Mr. Rokon, Mr. Fat Cat. We can't say Fat Cat anymore. Slim, non slim cat. And that's it right there. Sleeping in. Sleeping there. And it was nice and warm. Heater buddy on low. With a little bit of fan. And that's it. It was nice all night. Getting the vehicles warmed up. Again, it's October 31st, day before. We're going to be heading up to 81, whatever, 100 feet. There we go. We'll get the vehicle started. Get our packs and head up. 
Brocon is a beast, but it's slow. I'll just go on across some creek. I mean, it's like packing out an elk right now. Yeah, Ooh, it's a kinda, good load. There's a lot of weight in there. Yeah. Well, but, just uh, I know the next. I one. mean, but look at that. I mean, look. I mean, who's got two rifles sticking up with the World War II helmet? I mean, I'm, I'm looking pretty fly, man. I'm awesome. So you can use, you can kill two elk because you have two rifles. That's right. All right, well, let's go. We have another by uh, two mile and a half or something. All right. So about halfway. No, this is what. Oh, excuse me, one mile. So, this is one mile. That's right. I remember. It's like 1.1 or something. We got to go another two. That's what it is. But crow flies. It's right down there. Down there. But we got to zigzag and go through all some kind of the kitten kitten stuff. And I'll show you where we're gonna go. We are in the snow, but we gotta walk up there. We're gonna drive some of the way. We are up camping up there. Our spike camp is uh, somewhere up in there. I can see the tree. Yep, right in there, right up in there, in the snow. So, oh boy, that's good because that's where the elk are gonna be, taking naps, eating, drinking, having parties all night long. All right. We're about a mile away now. Just got to cross this creek. It's a little slick. But the fat cat can do it. He can do it. See, it's a little slick. Oh, there's that big rock right there. That'll take your leg right out. Yeah, you got to be careful. Yeah, it looks like it got tight compared to last time. There it goes. That's why they're light, 250 pounds. Brocon's like 216. Got her done. Frogging up a little bit. So I'm gonna join them, go down there, get across that. Like I said, it's about a mile. Then we're gonna have a snack, we gotta eat. We can't go miles and miles without eating. All right, Abiento. We came from up there, yeah, somewhere up there, over that little bump, saddle, came down, and into the creek. We'll need the water for sure. The liquid stuff in it, the high V. Oh. oh, good. So if you want some of this, that's cool. Yeah, that'd be good going up the ladder. It's supposed to be three times the amount of water. It triples the value of your oh. water. Oh, good. So I put two of them in. <laughs> So that's like six times. So you'll be able to just climb everything. Uh, no, I put two in because... So we made our trek with the bikes at the 3.1 mile. Went past the creek, the creek's over there. And then we are going to take a break and eat an MRE, get some calories in us. And then, it's very hard to see, but we're gonna start climbing up over there. Somewhere over there, it's hard to see. And then go up, up into the snow. And it's into the snow up there is, well, if that's farther than 1.5 or 1.4 miles. That is the bird flies or baby Oops. crows. So I brought cookies on the Rocon. They didn't fare so well. Now let me turn it around. As you can see, they're in little chum chum bits. But look at that. Yeah, they're not good, but still edible for snacks. Snacks. Coming some snacks. From that view. Yeah, I think I'm fine. I'm gonna put your 
grape drinking that. Yeah. All right, climbing. Get up to the first point. Let me get over there. All right, we're getting dumped on a little bit, a little bit of rain. Not bad. Made it into Looks the like trees. Right ahead of us. Yeah, over there is light. I gotta get up there, get under these spruce trees a little bit. Oh yeah, there's the sun. He's like getting a little bit of moisture. So it's Sunday. Day before the opening day we saw some elk tracks down there some fresh ones looked like from today based on the soil it was still fresh the soil was wet we have slipped and uh, so we probably have a mile Meh, well uh, yeah, probably. Eh, yeah probably a mile I don't want to say one two to, to three hundred miles that's not how it works here should I give you the best guesstimate, not some kind of five to twenty hundred miles? It's probably about a mile. But it's not too bad. This is the worst part. This is just coming up this stuff. Yeah. Oh, we made it up the first part. Yeah, it's the worst part. All right, so we're on, the, on one of the ridges. We've got a couple staircases to go up. I'm just gonna glass a little bit. It's probably like, I don't know, almost two, I guess. We're hoping we can get to spike camp four o'clock. Yeah, I think we'll get there before then. But... Yeah, well, hope, hopefully we do so we can set up the tent and do some glassing. Looks nice back here, a little bit of snow, as you can see. All right, there's some. We've been seeing a lot of evidence of pots. Lots, it's, it's older. Lots of it. There's a spike up camp up there on the home stretch. Going through all this buck. We're almost there. Alright, there's a track. A wolf, or is it a squirrel? What is it? See, look at that. It's a mountain lion. Yeah, maybe. Can you look at that? Good size. Well, it stepped on its own track, so double. But you can see the path. Over that log. Yeah. All right, there's a kill site right here. A deer, right there. Wolves must have got it because there's wolf prints around. And right here, and the spike camp's just right up there. So, I don't know when the, it snowed. Well, it snowed for a few days, so I don't know how old this is. Yeah, there's, but they, there's lots of wolf tracks, though, in the snow. Yeah. But how long it's been. Yeah. I mean, yeah. the snow's been melting, so. Yeah. Those could have been actually pretty high up in there, who knows. Yeah. There you go. You've been running through here. So, hopefully, we can get them, too. That'd be awesome. The trifecta. The deer, which we did. Yeah, lots of traffic. Elk and a wolf. They're going that way because that's where they took it down, obviously. It could be the same pack that lives up over on that side. Oh, yeah, look at that. That's pretty good size. They're all running around in here. Well, we're going to be up here for a bit. tracks heading right to spike camp they are older for sure but spike camp is just the lower top of that and some elk tracks that are on the same yeah same path not a bad size whoops let me put my hand print there's my hand these are all wolf tracks in the snow and spike camp is just Past that spruce tree on the other side, like about 100 yards. Yeah. Well, we made it to our spike camp. 
right here underneath this tree. We're going to see if the tent's going to fit. I don't know. But we were way down somewhere there. Somewhere down in there. Down there. We are at... I can actually check my phone. Well, it's probably about 8,100 and some toes. And we're only a few hundred yards from that pack of wolves that ran through here. But it doesn't look like we got them on the can. Game time. Set up. Take a little tour of our spike camp. Sun's out. It's nice. It's a little storm over there coming. At least we're protected from the rain. Right here. We have to go get some water. It's there, down over there, about a 30 minutes or so. But have it underneath the tree, try to do the best we could. There it is. Hilleberg 904 G T. Best of all, get some more pictures from the inside. Double layered. storm over there had lightning it's by about 6 30 the sun's gonna be down at 7 I don't know it's probably about 40 degrees 30 Ooh, lightning yeah look at that over there snowing over there we just went and got some water down there took about an hour and there was a lot of snow down there so went down might hear some wolves tonight here boys well, spookies some of my bullets got wet but I have backups gotta always have backups so there's the little kidlets in there it's hard to see it's in there somewhere Having some treats, mm -hmm. some soup, and it's raining. Is this blowing on your head? Oh no, I was just making sure. I got one of your boots, it's under my knee. Oh. There's the, uh, we're hunkered down, having some soupy soup. Yeah, that little tasty soup to warm the soul. I'll drink that. So it's snowing now. We're at 8223. That's 8,223 feet. And it's snowing. You can see. It's just out there and you can see the snow down there. Kinda. Let's get the light on that there, boys. Somewhere there. There's Christopher. He's having a snack. Now. Yeah. It's snowing, boys. It's snowing. Snowing outside. It's like eight o'clock, and it's a lot of snow. It's like 50 feet. It's terrible. People are not going well. Well, opening day. The sun's coming up. That's where we slept, and it snowed. Looks like the water's kind of frozen. Oh, it's not too bad. Oh, it's a little bit moist in there. Gotta keep more vents. At least some, some vents.
Have a little snack. Got to have some snacks. Not seeing any signs as invisibilities of creatures. Here we go, getting ready to have a snack. Sasquatch. somewhere so there's some two bowls over there and there is spy camp they're about a thousand yards away I just got to kind of find sorry and find them they're right on the ridge there they are that is him that's right there they are a couple spikes I think one's a spike he's right underneath that Sorry, somewhere a little above, right there I think. It's just hard to see with the light. There he is. You make the call. I don't know where the other one is. Whoops, sorry. Je suis désolé. I see one there in the camera, but I don't see the other one. They are what? A three by three? I think it's a three by three and a spike. Yeah. They're, like I said, they're bulls. The big one, the three by three one, is on either side. So there's only one on the face, right? Well, he's right on the top right now. Oh. He's right on the Well, opening day. That was our goal. Is to get two bulls, at least. That'd be nice. But, uh, Christopher, I think it's just too bloody cold up there. It is cold. Oh, there they are. I think I can... I gotta find a reference point right between those two trees. Sorry for the zoomings. There he is. So just, it's two just bulls all by themselves, no cows? He's just riding the ridge. So a thousand yards. Yep. So we're gonna put a stink, like I said, on those two. There might be somewhere on the other side. I'm just gonna start heading down. We're at 82, 8,200 feet, 8,223. Looks like they're probably down at maybe 7,500.
Just one sitting there. That's where the bulls were. So they must be bedded on the other side. We're at 7,900 feet, and that's about 40 degrees. Wish the sun would come out. Six hundred and forty yards. So yeah, it, at six hundred and fifty yards, it was a spike. Oh, he's sitting right beside the tree, right? Is that him? Mm -hmm. oh, okay, there he is. I see him. Yeah, I'll get a video of him again. But it is a spike. It wasn't a cow. So there's two bulls back there for sure. Just they're living back there. Let me get a video of that. Hang on. Let me turn you around. Just getting ready on one up there. 640 yards. Smacked them at 640 yards and well 644 yards because my range at last it was kind of going up over and uh, it was a safe shot because there's no one out here except ghosts so it's good and there's another bull up there he's a little one Chris forgot the bigger one. Probably over by We came from up there. There's Spike Camp with the tree. Uh -huh. Yeah. That's how far away are from camp. Not far. Yeah. A thousand yards to the bull. Our bull. And Chris, the first shot it across that knoll. That actual ridge over there, somewhere up there. Just gotta walk up there. Retrieve some meat. Need the meat. All right, there he is. Got him. Got to process him now. Spot one. It's too far. Processed. Time for a new battery. And all there's processes. Gets all his neck meats. Right in his neck meats. Not too long. Boning it out since we're a long ways to the bikes. Got a little meats. There's his legs. Hind and front. There comes another one. Yeah, he's still right there. And I gotta bone that out like I did that one. Look at all the meats and the treats. Look right. at all that. All done. Now we load them up and then we head three miles to the UTV. Then we take the UTV and head to base camp. So Chris was just right behind us. He has more weight. We're going to go help him, but we saw him coming. It's like right behind us. All right, we made it back to base camp last night in the dark. Got the meats hanging, neck meats, leg meats, heavy meats. And the other and over there. So it's November 2nd. And we'll probably just do some glass and, and then head back to Spike Camp tomorrow. So there's.
there's the goats. There's one goat. He's sleeping. There's the other goat. He's sleeping. Mm -hmm. It's like a hot pot in here. It's warm. It's nice and warm. A little heater bunny going. A little bit of moisture in here. Gotta have a dirty pack. I think the Rogan did really good. Packed out all the meat. For most of it. It's good. Tiring. Gotta have some breakfast. Nice cereal. Nice and soggy. Ooh, delicious. Look at that. It's tasty. It's November 2nd, like I said, and today's a rest and glass, and then the third, well, well, the third day, which is November 3rd, head out. I go get to spike camp, but hunt on the way, and then make a plan what we're going to do tomorrow. Made it to spike camp. Tent's still here. Chris, we're still here. He stayed the night. Hopefully no chipmunks got in there. Uh, breaking down spike camp. Served its purpose two days ago. Got the bull elk down. are here and it keeps following us well now we're following it but it's very curious there it is again <laughs> it's totally lost why can't you be a bull does it hurt it looks like one of the sign legs might be open the, oh no Wolf bait. Oh. So good. That's why I got left behind. I got chased and took off and hit.